of Jesus Christ. Let us pray, Christ. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once again. And God, we ask that you would just continue to bless us. We're hearing good news, and we're hearing news about, about uh, uh, there is a vaccine, uh, there is help for us, and we thank you for that, God. And we ask that you would work in the midst of everything that it is that is to help us. We want you to get in the furnace like you did with the uh, three Hebrew boys, and we just ask that you would just continue to bless us and be with us in this service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sister Linda Johnson is going to come to us at this time. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful, and triumphant. We come this morning to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Amen. Oh, 
glad to be in your house. And we know that for many of us, it's not the customary house, but if we belong to you, then our house is your house. And so we are grateful, Lord, that we have gathered around our computers or our cell phones or our tablets, even around our televisions, oh God, to hear what you have to say. And even as we gather for this time of prayer, oh God, we know that there are many who are hurting, many who have suffered loss, many, Lord, who are struggling with difficulty, not just because of the virus, but certainly this virus has thrown many's life off kilter, oh God. And so because you have proven in, in regular times that we can trust you, when we have had trouble on every side, you've proven that we can trust you. We know that no matter this situation, no matter what we're dealing with, we can come to you and you would hear us when we pray. And so, Lord, even as people are inserting their prayer concerns in the comment section of the screen that they are watching, oh God, we ask that you would hear them, oh God. We ask that you would run to them. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and they are safe. We need safety, oh God. We thank you, God, that you love us. We thank you, God, that you care for us. We thank you, O oh God, that you hear us when we pray. We ask you, O oh God, to be in our midst, to help us, O oh Lord. There's nobody else who we can turn to. If we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need you now. We ask you, O oh God, to hear us as we pray. Hear our requests. Hear our concerns. We especially lift up those who are bereaved. There are families all over this country, Lord, who have lost loved ones. There are families in our fellowship who have lost loved ones. And it doesn't matter if it was last week or months ago, oh God, there is still the sting of loss. And so we lift them up to you in the name of Jesus. Have your way, anoint your servant for the word, and we bless you in the name of Jesus. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. And we're doing well. You understand? Making all kinds of progress. And then, and then something happens. A storm arrives. We know you're minding your own business. And what we call unexpected challenges show up. It could be sickness. It could be death, believe it or not. It could be a breakup. It could be you counting on a loan to go through. And it's easy to get discouraged and allow others to discourage you also. And think that I'll never make it. I, I, I won't bounce back. I won't bounce back. After this uh, horrific thing that has tried to overtake me. But God doesn't promise you something and change his mind. Amen? He, he doesn't put a dream that is in your heart and in your mind and snatch it away from you. Or either snatch it back because whatever God starts, he finishes. According to Philippians 1 6, it says that being confident of this very, very one thing that he that has begun a good work in you will see it through. Amen. Amen. He will not only see it through, he will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you may not see your way, but but I'm, I'm so glad that God doesn't run out of options. Sometimes we run out of options when something happens or when something is going on. You see, we, we, we are natural, but God is supernatural. The devil is mighty, but God is almighty. And that makes the difference, believe it or not. God has ways that you never thought of, thought of, you never seen it. it God would have never, never allowed that storm if it wasn't going to keep you from your destiny. He would have never allowed that storm, you understand, that setback, that loss, you understand. You see, if that was going to stop your purpose, God would have never allowed it to happen. And we may not like it, amen, but those storms are a part of life and a part of our, what, our process. Believe it or not. Amen. But the good news is that God is still in control of the winds and the lightning that flashes and, and everything about the storm. Other words, other word, he's in control of what's trying to stop you. Believe it or not. And, and all he has to do is just shift the winds and instead of holding you back, you understand, they can propel you forward. Amen. That's God's power. You understand? They were meant, amen, for your harm. But you see, God knows, amen, how to turn them around so that they can be used for your advantage. Amen. Amen. Now, now, now we all have a faith situation, and, and we didn't know how we were going to do what, how it was going to work out. You understand? If my finance, my health, amen, amen. It could be in a relationship, amen. But every voice says it's too late for you. There's no way you're not going to make it. You understand? The obstacle is just a little to be, amen. But there's too many people dying every day for us to say this right now in this pandemic. You see, but God is saying, we're going to make it. Amen. Because I'm still on the throne. I'm still God, believe it or not. And I'm still fighting your battle behind the scene. And I'm so glad to hear that. I'm so glad to know that God is fighting my battle. Matter of fact, he said that I'm rearranging, I'm, I'm arranging the help that you need and I'm sending the help that you need even in the time of pandemic. And all you got to do is wait on me. Because if I begin something, and even if something has happened to you and you don't think that you're not going to make it, God can see you through. And that's the kind of God that I serve. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, you, he said that, that, that the thing about God is whatever he promised you, it will come to pass. 2 Peter, uh, that is 3 9, said that the Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some may men count slackness, but he's long suffering us with, believe it or not, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. You see, it will come to pass. Amen. You're still going to get there. You're going to make it. And God is going to see that it come to pass. You see, you're still going to do what? You're going to meet that quota. You're still going to do what? Break that addiction. You're still going to accomplish your dream to understand. And you know, God may not have, amen, set the storm, but he is what? Still in control of storm. 
He may not sense the pandemic, but guess what? I believe without a shadow of a doubt that he's in control of it. And we got to learn what it is. That is to trust him. Amen. But here, but, but here's the test. You understand? Will you trust him when you can't see? Amen. Any signs of things improving and getting better? Will you stay in the faith? You understand? You see, when everybody and every thought is telling you that you're not going to make it and it's not going to work out. Amen. And all hope is gone. Amen. And everywhere you look, you can hear these words. You're not going to make it, believe it or not. Amen. In many cases, what God promised looks just the opposite. Yes, it does. The opposite of what we see. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see? You see, God, God you said that, that my ship was going to come in. And when my ship came in, it was a little canoe. It, it was a little boat. God, you said, you said, you said that, that, that the sickness will go away and I would be healed. You understand? But I've been dead ridden for a long time. You understand? God, you said, you said that I will live and not borrow, but I've been in debt up to my neck, struggling because of life. Or you said that my children, amen, would be mighty in the land, but I compromised them to being, you know, good managers, amen. And they have moved away from something, the teaching that I have given. They even moved away from their spouses, and they left their husbands and wives, and now they're at home with me, looking in the refrigerator, giving their children, asking me, what is for dinner? I know what I'm talking about up here. But God, if you trust him, he will see you through. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, we can't be moved by what we see. We walk by faith and not by sight. You cannot walk by sight. Man, I've seen so many things until I had to shake my head. I heard people say so many things until I just had to walk away. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You understand? You had to move. You were moved by what you see, but you ought to be more moved by what you know. Amen. Amen. And, and, and don't let the storm talk you out of God's promises. Because that's what it's doing. All of America right now, people are showing their true colors and more colors. Folks are going crazy, believe it or not. Some of them are so scared until they're scared of their shadows, believe it or not. So fearful, believe it or not. But don't let God I mean, don't let the devil talk you out of God's promises. Don't you let him do that. Amen. In the middle of the storm. Amen. And when, when it seems like everything can go wrong, it's going wrong, believe it or not. There is a song that says, I got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. And then the song writer goes on to say that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost told me that everything is going to be all right. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Oh yes, God, God, God has given us all kinds, all kinds of what? All kinds of promises. But we have to mix it. We have to mix it and we have to take the next step. You believe it or not, that is with God. We need to mix it with faith. We got to mix it with faith. What God promised you is going to come to pass. But now the promise won't come unless you mix it with faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You hear me? Without faith, it's impossible to please by God. My Bible tells me that all things are possible to them that believe. Amen. If I believe, God can make the difference. And if there is a, if, if there is one major, how can I say it, obstacle, uh, obstacle, obstacle, we who call ourselves Christians, amen, who call ourselves Christians have to overcome. And that is the obstacle of what? Believe I'm not, excuse me, I'm not believing. We got to learn how to believe. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Believing is one thing. Believe it or not. Believing is one thing and enduring is another. We need to stop enduring. We've been enduring long enough. We stopped believing. We started uh, enduring. You understand? We stopped believing that things can be better and you just endure. You just endure. That's all. You understand? I don't love my husband. I just endure. That's all. I just ain't doing this. Go along with us, you know what I mean? We always ain't doing something. Amen. But I still believe that God is going to bless us and we're going to make it. And we need to do what? We need to talk about God's promises. 
We need to do what? We need to speak life in the face of death. And we got to speak words of victory in the face of defeat. Because if you are not careful right now, there are many things in this storm that will defeat you. Amen. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, what you say in the midst of the storm will have a great impact on you, whether you know it or not. Whether to stay, amen, or whether to leave. You understand? Whether to stay, stay in it, or whether you do what, come out of it. But when you come out in the middle of this storm, you want to come out this storm with a shout. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You need to be able to have this in your mind that I'm coming through. I'm coming out. I don't care what nobody said. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You ought to be able to say this, this too shall pass. And then not only that, but I will get well, believe it or not. This storm is passing over one day. My children is going to prosper. I just believe it. You understand? We ought to be out to say that the pressures of life is not going to get me down and I'm not going to be bogged down in sin, in, 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 in sickness, and in anything else, and I'm not going to stay here. God is not going to let the problem snatch you out of his hand. But guess what God's going to do? His promise is going to be there and God's going to stand with his promises. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, we can't let things get the best of us if we just stand and look from the sidelines and let the devil intimidate us. We need to speak words of faith. We need to say that, that you know what? I'm going to set me a new standard after this pandemic is over. I'm going to break the cycle of defeat and depression and dysfunction. Amen. That has done what? That has been passed down. You understand? I will pay my house off. I don't care if I don't get a Stimulus. We need to say, I will pay my car off, huh? even if I don't get a stimulus, huh? because I'm going to stand with God. Huh? I'm going to stand with Him. Huh? That is every day of my life. Huh? How do y'all know what I'm talking about? You can't stop believing. Amen. I just rose to tell somebody that you're going to make it. They understand. You are going to make it. Huh? No matter what they say. Huh? No matter what huh? they didn't give you, you're still going to make it. You're going to make it without what you lost and they've been a great loss. We even lost our parents and our children in this pandemic. You're going to make it out. Amen. Without what they didn't give you and all of that to understand. And after everything is over with, you're going to come out with a shot. You're not going to give up. I'm going to make it out. I don't care if they don't encourage me. I'm going to make it anyhow. You y'all better get in your minds uh, that you gonna be making that. Uh, you better tell somebody. Uh, I don't care what's going on in my life. Uh, amen. We seen worse than this. Uh, but guess what? Uh, God stepped in. He had to step in. Look how He can bless you because we just believe that we gonna make it. Amen. amen. So we have to depend upon Him. Amen. We can't depend upon people. Amen. You know, sometimes God take away things, amen, that we think we need. Amen. So we would have to do what? Depend upon Him. You got to depend upon Him. Amen. You can't depend upon the contract, the position, the money you make. You understand? And as long as you're just doing what? I'm looking back, you understand? Just focusing on the why. Why did this happen? You understand? You see, why am I always looking back and feeling the hurt and the pain that is of the past? You understand? You see, but I'm so glad. I'm so glad, amen, that God being for us is just more than anything that can be against us. And my prayer is that God would do what? That he would get us out of this pandemic. When I heard, amen, that they had something, a vaccine for the virus, my heart was glad. I ain't had no ifs, no skeptics, no, no, no this, that, and the other. I said, if God is working, I hope that, you know what I hope? I hope the vaccine.
vaccine spread just as quick as the virus did. I hope we can get the stuff straightened out so we can go back to work again and we can have food again and we can get our family back in school and college again and the little boys can play football and baseball and all of those great things again because God promised us. He promised us that we can be blessed and that's my prayer. Amen. You see, all I need to do is continue to fulfill his purpose and his promises. You understand? And we can live because we are doing what? We're standing on the promises of Jesus. Amen. You see, when first I started to seek the Lord, I'm glad that I counted the cost. I'm glad and you're glad that God is in your life. How many know y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, I come too far to turn around. I don't feel no way side. I come too far for where I started from. But nobody told me. Nobody told me. Nobody told me that the road was going to be easy. But I don't believe. I don't believe he brought us this far. He's not going to leave us in a pandemic. He's not going to leave you without. God is not going to leave you alone. God has not left time yet. But whatever he promised you, he's going to give it to you. Whatever he said you can have, you can have it, believe it or not. I just believe without a shadow of a doubt. God is going to work it out. He's going to step in. Look at it, step in. Yeah. <laughs>